Bookends for your day, Redeeming the Time Brothers podcast, a podcast by Gene Kissinger and Norman Kissinger, two brothers who have spent their lives in ministry and raising large families. Our desire is to provide a digital place for those who long belong. And as always, we want to leave a nightlight on, for that nightlight is out of Nehemiah chapter 8 and verse 10. Then he said unto them, Go your way, eat the fat, drink the sweet, and send portions unto them for whom nothing is prepared. For this day is holy unto our Lord. Neither shall, neither be ye sorry, for the joy of the Lord is my strength, or your strength. Robert Murray McShane, he said this, I feel it is my duty to be as happy as the Lord wants me to be. So if Nehemiah is talking about that strength, is, joy is our strength in our day, and we know that it's our duty to find happiness or to be happy, uh, then certainly we need to focus on that. Now, that doesn't mean that uh, there won't be bad things that happen in each day. In fact, in every day that you have, there's going to be problems. So if you wait to find joy or to be happy until all of your problems are solved, there's no problems in your life, you'll never be happy and you'll never have joy. So don't wait till every solution has appeared to you before deciding that you're going to milk the joy out of every day. He says the joy of the Lord is our strength. I think what he means by that is I'm empowered when I'm in a state of joy. I'm empowered to be able to handle the situation that's coming my way, even though the situation would not be one that I would choose. I often have no control over my circumstances. The only control that I have is how I respond to those circumstances. So I want to give you the analogy of two bookends. You you probably have books at your home and maybe on one of your shelves there's not any convenient end pieces. So maybe on the top of a bookshelf you'll have a stack of books that are there and on each end there are bookends and those bookends hold everything together. They keep it from falling apart. And in our life I'm going to suggest two bookends that you can have to start your day and end your day. They're going to keep everything together. Number one is start your day singing. The the, the Bible talks a lot about songs and hymns and spiritual songs. There's an entire book in the Old Testament called the Book of Psalms, and it's all singing. It's all worship to God. And so one of the things that you need to do but as early as you can in your day, sing a verse or two from one of the great hymns of the faith, one of the choruses that, that has moved you, get those God thoughts of worship in your head. And, and I mean, sing it out loud. Even if you have a horrible voice, sing. There's something about it that just launches you into your day with strength and joy when you can sing. Uh, there's so many that I love, man. Whether it's Amazing Grace, Victory in Jesus, I Come to the Garden. I mean, there there are thousands of of wonderful hymns and choruses that you can sing, and that will that will change your day because you start it right. But here's another thing: at the end of the day, close out your day thinking about three things that God has given you that day, three things you're thankful for that happened that day. And when you become, when you get a part of this thank therapy going on in your life and you thank God for three things that happened every day, whether it was a great sale that you came across or, or just uh, how you got to spend some time with a really good friend or whatever it was, that thankfulness will ready you for the next day. And if you learn to bookend your days with the singing of a great hymn and the thanking of, of to God for three things that he did for you that day, it will transform your experience. It will bookend your day, your life, and hold everything together. I hope you'll take this to heart. Try it for 30 days. Just try it and see what happens. I think you'll find your, your, your life experience is radically enhanced. Let's pray. Dear Lord God, I thank you for this day. I do pray that you'd be with those under the sound of my voice. Let them know you love them and care for them. Help us, God, to bookend our days with worship to you and thanks to you and allow that to hold the crumbling pieces of our lives together. Because God, we can't choose what happens to us, but Lord, we can certainly choose how we respond. In Jesus' name, amen. Hey, God bless you. I love you, but Jesus loves you so much more. Have a great night.